looks good. Welcome back to another episode with Garel's Garage. Uh, hope you folks have been all well and enjoying the sun as much as I've been. Topic of today's video is uh, I'm actually going to be swapping out these plastic switches uh, to something uh, more custom cafe racer look. And uh, like I said before, you know, my plan with this project is to customize and make it as personal as I can where um, you know as many of you know i also have a 500 single um, with that my ultimate goal is to make it as retro as possible so uh, uh, yeah stick around if you want to know what i'm doing these are the beauties that are going to be going on uh, mr bling over here um, and uh, a little bit about the switches these are cnc uh, aluminum uh, based really really nice finish and quality I must say uh, as far as the switches all the buttons up here and uh, even the how the wiring is all wrapped and tucked uh, really nice quality um, so yeah these these are a universal mount so uh, any 7 8 or 22 millimeter handlebar you shouldn't have no problem um, so yeah, um, I will be giving this a go. Uh, I think this is going to really pull out that personal cafe racer look that I'm going for. Uh, and another feature that I want to point out is, you know, uh, for example, for your high, uh, high beam over here, it has a press and a hold and then another press to release. Where, of course, the horn uh, has that spring mechanism in there. So... Uh, really really a uh, thoughtful process to complete your wiring process you'll actually need these uh, 2.8 uh, nine slotted plugs both for left and the right side and uh, uh, if you're not really familiar how these work uh, with these brass fittings well technically there's only one way so you can't really mess up but uh, if you're holding the plug with this little tab towards the left side, uh, you will see there's actually a little groove ridge in the middle. So if I, if I push this pick all the way through, uh, touching the bottom part, it is actually going to get stuck in the midway. And that's for these brass fittings, you know, uh, if it could focus right there. So you see that a little, little lifted lip right there. Uh, that's just, uh, for it to make contact there so it holds it in its place. Access to the wiring, you'll actually have to remove the headlight and there's just two uh, star head bolts on each side. So let me just loosen those up and So got both of those uh, out and uh, just be mindful there's actually locking uh, washers on there. And uh, yeah, if you're wondering what happened there, this is from when Roger was a puppy. And lift it up. Uh, there's a little tab that goes right there. And just going to For your connectors. Right now, I'm not sure if over the years the color has changed on these connectors. But anyways, there's actually only two <laughs> nine slotted plugs uh, in the whole headlight. So the black one is your left side. And then this red one over here uh, that's for the right switch removing the switch is pretty easy uh, just one bolt in the front and uh, another one in the back to take off the left switch really easy and uh, technically if you can't find uh, any nine slotted plugs you know you can reuse this you'll just have to cut out the wires and connect it to the correct one but uh, yeah but with that way you will be sacrificing your stock one in case you know you need a backup All right, guys, so I got the left switch, all the connectors all fitted. And uh, just to give you a quick overview of 
the wires. Uh, the blues are for your horn. Uh, greens are for your uh, high beam. And the yellows are for the button on the back. And your whites are for your turning signal. So it doesn't matter. You can connect left, right, or right to left. And your black is for the flashing negative. We're going to assemble this on this nine slotted plug is you can actually follow a uh, diagram that is available for the GT uh, in your vehicle service manual. Um, so you can actually track down, see your headlight and then, but if you want to save yourself the headache, keep following the video. Uh, I'm going to plug all these in, in the right place. And, uh, A quick overview of this plug is um, you have this little tab notch pointed up. So you have your both your whites for your signals, your flashing negative in the middle. Uh, then it's yellow, blue, yellow on the bottom, blue on the right bottom, and two greens in the middle. And to make it easier, actually, I will... Uh, Pop up like a diagram up on the screen so you can pause the screen and I'm just trying to uh, place it in a suitable position so when I know all the switches will be in reach. So I think about right there looks good. Just a half a turn. Sweet. I got it plugged in. Let's quickly test it. Uh, that's your right signal. Left signal. <laughs> it's actually reversed. So I'm going, I need to fix that. Uh, that's high beam. Turn on and off. <coughs> Horn. So everything's fine. It's just for these uh, signals. I'm going to switch those and retest it. And a really neat uh, benefit I like about this switch is this back button right here. That could actually control your headlight now. Uh, so before you turned on the bike, uh, the light would be on no matter what. There was no way to turn it on or off. But now uh, that's your running light and you have the ability to turn the headlight on and off. How cool is that? So for the right side, it's uh, actually really simple. Uh, we only need four wires. Uh, the red uh, wires are for the kill switch. And then uh, your blue is for the ignition, which actually uh, triggers the starter. Now, benefit of this is you act technically have two uh, switches um, that you could mount accessories to. You could run uh, lights. Uh, I would any any USB phone charger, uh, you know, anything like that. So yeah, just another so for the right oh. side. Uh, this tab at the at the top, uh, your red will go bottom left. And then uh, blue, middle, and bottom right. Um, so yeah, pretty simple. I'm going to just wrap these with some electric tape. And uh, So yeah, I'm doing a quick testing for the kill switch, uh, you know, just to see the wires are 
connected correctly before I mount this. So it is currently in a position of kill. So the fuel pump shouldn't turn on. So and then once it goes to the right side, you should hear a noise. There it is. So that's the fuel plug. And then, well, battery's dead, but we know the starter is working. And then that's your kill. There you go, guys. This is the final look. I'm really digging the slim, sleek, custom look of this. Um, another positive is it gives me a lot more wiggle room to uh, adjust my phone mount, you know, uh, which I didn't have before. So uh, I have a more adjustability, you know, another positive for you might be if you have a thicker phone mount, you know, and now you can mount that, which you couldn't on these uh, clip-ons before. Um, another uh, thing to be mindful of is the pre-drilled bar holes, you know, so those are going to be there. And um, obviously you can plug those in and uh, stop the water going in. What I came for a quick solution was I had these uh, plastic inserts laying around. So I just cut one end of it. So um, it will basically insert right in the hole and flush against my uh, phone mount. So. I think that that looks really neat. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't have to thread it and uh, put a bolt in there or anything. So easy solution. Uh, talking about plugging, uh, I do need to plug these uh, bolts for the mirrors, the stock mirrors. So yeah. And then on the right side, uh, I couldn't really get to it because, uh, as you know. Uh, the throttle assembly is what is what holds it's it's built within the switch itself which uh, is held by that pre-drilled hole in the bar so you will actually need a separate uh, throttle body assembly uh, to actually mount this so i have mine uh, placed on an order right now i'm still waiting for it i haven't gotten the part but once that arrives, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, I already tested all the wiring stuff, so it's just a matter of taking this off, uh, clamping the switch, and clamping the new uh, throttle assembly on and Of there. course, I went with the aluminum finish, just so it all goes together with Mr. Bling over here. And uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for the throttle assembly to arrive so I can tackle this right side. And then, uh, yeah, it'll, with the complete look, uh, I think it is going to look pretty sick. In future video, I will be covering the right side. Um, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I could still reuse the factory throttle cables uh, to finish the look of this. And uh, yeah, if you made it this far, that still tells me the content is not boring. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share, and hopefully you can subscribe. Till next time, ride safe. And those of you who are wondering where's Roger in the video today, Yes, his nap still is not over. <laughs>